Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today I want to do another haul video on I hear what? candy wrappers. <laughs> I needed a mint. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Leave me alone. <laughs> Let me eat my mint in peace. Today I'm going to do a haul on the online estate sale that we did earlier this year. No, we didn't. We did it last year. Oh, truth. Yeah, last year. I think it was May. I don't remember, though. It's June. been that long. June. June. Somewhere in there. But just as a reminder, I found an online estate um, auction that was going on in an area that was how far away? Hour and a half drive? Like two and a half. Oh, I two think. and a half two, hour two drive half. away. And believe me, it was through the mountains and over the valley. But whiny. Oh, it was terrible. Windy and no, I no. was windy. Whiny. It was whiny. That was, <laughs> was more whiny than windy. But yes. I get car sick easily. But um, as it was ending, Robert and I sat at separate computers and just started bidding on as much of the stuffed animals and toys that we could get and I mean we got a lot cheap the the auctions and you only got to see what was on top of whatever container they were in so I just had to go with my gut we spent five hundred and ninety dollars I believe um, and came home with the trailer that was probably I don't remember half full probably half full maybe we're guesstimating probably a thousand to fifteen hundred items all of it was vintage to Well, most of it was vintage toys. A lot of it was advertising. Um, but there was a whole lot of drug, pharmaceutical type stuff also that was advertising. Right. Pharmacy stuff. Yes. Like legal pharmacy stuff. Yes. Right. Not, not the mugs, drugs, but mugs. Yeah. Yes. Mugs and toys and just all kinds of stuff. So I thought I was going to have enough for maybe two more videos, but I think I was wrong. Um... It might be three more videos worth of stuff. Um, but I did bring over three bags, and we'll see how far I get through this. So let's just do it. A lot of this I will not have um, even a guess on how much it's worth, because a lot of this I've never seen in my life before, and it's just been amazing. Because like, like with the cups, one cup is... Fifteen dollars. The next one's one hundred and fifty. Yes. You just because we don't know what right. these things are. Or Not are. until I start doing comps, and if I can't figure it out on comps, then usually I do an auction or I just go high and see what kind of offers I get. Let's just get going. There were quite a few of these. These are just they're Mars Inc. Nineteen eighty seven. I had butter. This is M and M's. I had Butterfingers and Nestle's and just all kinds, but I think a lot of them were like twenty twenty five dollars. I didn't realize I had another one of these. I already have two of these listed in another lot. These are by Animal Fair and they're called Chubbles. And if when you put a nine volt battery in them, they are they have sensors in them with like lights and everything and they make noise and their eyes light up hopefully this one works and then I think I'll just make a lot of three especially if it's got they all had different colored cloaks so hopefully this is a different color this is World Wildlife Funds Determined Productions 1985 Usually when I see one of these, I'm going to have several. This The person that had this estate liked to buy complete sets of stuff. So this panda bear, I bet you there may be others. See, this is what I'm meaning about advertising. C&P Telephone, right here on the antlers. This was, oh, Mary Meyer. Very cute. Look at that. I don't remember most of this stuff, and like I said, many of this, these items I didn't see. All I was doing was seeing what was on top of the package. Here's Milk Bone Dr. Spot. Very cute. This is probably, a lot of this was 70s and 80s. This is Russ. Very cute. 
I have other milk bone stuff, so I still have a bag from all the other stuff that I've shown you because I'm waiting to put something with it. But I mean, I've gotten a lot listed and I've sold a ton. This is McGruff. Wasn't he like the dare dog? It's a crime dog. Crime Could've dog. Been dare. Could have been dare. I don't remember all the way, but it's dated 1981. He might have had a hat. I don't remember. Tons and tons of Hershey's stuff. This one is the Hershey Hugs. I've had issues because a lot of times the, the coating is wearing off. It's like this metallic kind of looking stuff. But very cute. It needs a bath. More Hershey Kisses stuff. I've been making small lots, especially if I have some that are like exactly like this, but different designs. So hopefully I'll find a few more of them. This is Eddie Bauer. How cute. Dressed up as a gingerbread. Yeah, that's all it says. Eddie Bauer. I have more of these. This is that Intamins. The cakes and pastries that you can still buy. This is Chip from 98 and Sprinkles from 98. They'll probably go together in a lot. How I do Here's some more Hershey's. I had another one like this. But it's like, it's by Horseman. It's a posable bear. Love it. Paddington. Paddington is a very slow mover. Very slow. But every once in a while, I do end up selling. I just recently sold a huge one. I'm glad because it was taking up too much space. But usually they're eaten. This one's Kid's Gift. Yeah. And it's got a little book in its pocket. Oh, some of these others have these type of bags, um, bears. This one says Leggy. It must have been some kind of department store. To me, these look like the Belky Bears, which there's another bag of just this type of stuff. I have no clue on these. Leggy. Here is another World Wild World Wildlife Federation. So there's a panda bear, and now there's a grizzly bear. And then here is Medico High Security Locks. Looks like a polar bear. Isn't that what I said? No, you said grizzly bear. Oh. You probably get confused by this white bear you had the other day. I, yeah, that is that a was, says is grizzly bear. bear. This is by Trudy. Oh. Polar bear. Polar bear. Sometimes I just wonder. This is Trudy. I have quite a few things by that brand. This is. Don't know. Oh, Godiva. Or Godiva bear. I've had quite a few of them in this. And this is Hershey's 2002. A lot of this bag has been clean. I've had some bags that they needed to be cleaned. Um, this says Hertz rent a car. Like I said, lots of advertising. This was Avon. They were called Full of Beans. I've actually got one to go put with this from that other bag. This is interesting. It says Mary Merritt Doll Museum. It's still sealed in its bag. It looks very old. I don't know. I'll definitely have to check the comps on all this stuff. Oh, how cute. This is 24K Company 
Mighty Star. I like to buy Mighty Star. But it has a tag for ASPCA. So that's very unique. I haven't seen anything like this one before. Ah, uh, here's some more. Yay! So here's the Reese's Bear. Like the M&M's. Here's another Hershey's Bear. I'll still probably keep all of these separate because somebody who's collecting these may only be needing one of them to complete their collection. All of them have had their paper tags too. Oh, that's funny. I already have from a yard sale this summer, I stopped and got a bag full of advertising stuff. I gave the lady $5 and, and I have this already. I'm not sure if it's the exact same ones, but they're just for some Actos, whatever medication that is. That's funny. I already have that. Oh, here's another one. Snickers. All right, another Hershey's, a little one. So I think this one looked like that other one. So I may just put the two of them together. I've had several of these. This is by Nanco. Oh, there it is. Oh, luckily this didn't stick and pull it off, but it's Tootsie Roll Pop. But I've got a purple one like this. And I think one other colored one. I'm going to have to check and maybe put them all together. Now this is, see, this is what I mean about sets. Here is four bears, and they're all Bell Atlantic. And this one says caller ID. This one says Operation Mansell, Home Voicemail, and Additional Line. So these will probably definitely all go together. All right, bag two. Now I thought these two bears that were on top were just some more of those Belky type bears. I buy them, I sell them. They're just not my favorite. But these, hmm. These have intrigued me. Excuse the dirt. This really won't be that bad to clean. Just go by the sink and I'll just lean it over and try to hand wash it with some dish detergent, not dish detergent, clothing detergent. But I noticed this little heart here. That means this is musical. And I've done really well with some of these older plush as long as they work. And yay, there's no batteries stored in it. I'm trying to see if there's a company. But now, so these are large, and look, not one, but two. But they're so large, I don't think I'll list them together. But fingers crossed, they work. Another leggy bear. Robert's trying to do some research on that for right now. Oh, yeah, toboggan and sweater. But again, just, if somebody's collecting these, they're probably going to be thrilled with them. Now this enthuses me. U-Haul. Look, it's like a little vehicle still in its bag. A cute. And I got a whole lot of little again in this bottom of this bag. Hanover. Kid Bean. Not sure what Hanover was. Ah, oh, look. Cheers. Boston. How cute is that? Sometimes you just want to go where everybody knows your name. <laughs> Even I know that one. You do? <laughs> I do! I told you. Here's another bear from the World Wildlife Fund. This time it's a koala to go with the panda and the polar bear. Richard Wolf. Not sure what it is. There you go. I'm telling you a whole lot of little. This one says Montgomery. Commonwealth 1997. I already have one of these. Timmy from Termidor. I already have some of these. This is Protonics. I think I've been doing 
lots of two. I end up finding two that are different. This says oh, cliff notes. How many of us used cliff notes in high school and college to get through a book? I, I had to read Beowulf. But how cute is that? To me, I think that one might be a treasure. It is for me anyway. Russell Stover's. I've done, I have sold a lot of Odie's, it just seems like in the last couple of months. Almost everything I list ends up selling, but he's very cute. Okay. This says Bank of the James. Little bird still in his bag. Oh, by accident. I have a coffee mug that's by accident and it's got the bulldog's teeth marks is on one of the edges. But here's a little hand puppet. I'm thinking this is good. This says Sedax. Another advertising plush. There's a lot of pharmaceutical stuff in this one. Yeah, Ovide. The, the Richard Wolf thing is an endoscopy <laughs> provider or in, in, a tool provider or something. So we oh. have some very out, I mean, very uncommon plush for advertising. You know, yes. normally you think like the department store or the, you know, the fast food place or something, but to go out for the endoscopy. I've done very well with the, the pharmaceutical plush and cups and other stuff. Look, he's holding a Pepsi. Baseball. Again, it's Nanco. 1996. Isn't that cute? Oh, see, I've had several of these. I've got them in small lots. Arthrotech. That's what I'll probably do with these. If they're different than the ones I already have listed, then I may just make a larger lot. This says Tech RX. That's funny. Dinosaur. Oh, I've had several of these. Atrovent. Big on plush nose. Huh? Let's see, I love this stuff. Flonase. It's our favorite friend these days because of allergy season. Oh, but it's a golf club cover. How cute is that? Oh, Zyrtec. I've got other things that are Zyrtec. I think this is the same one. So no such luck as finding two different ones. Another Protonics. Dynaback. Little boxing kangaroo. Oh, doesn't work. These are those... These are good to find, especially if they work. They are the Wild Republic, the Audubon birds. And they always have, and they make the sound of the bird. I do well with these. But again, I sell them for probably 6 to $10. Oh, I think this is a smaller version of the other one I just was showing you. The Target Bullseye plush. He needs a bath. Aflac. To it doesn't work. Uh, black. Oh. Uh, black. This is one of the uh, original black. ones. They get all fancy now. Fancy. Ambien. That was the coffee mug, wasn't it? I don't think you can sell that one, can you? Or no? No, it's no, the. No, it's the. the I have. Yeah, there's one. Ziframax. Is it Ziframax? I think so. It's the only plush that I've tried to sell with the name brand and Zithromax. I keep getting kicked out. It won't even accept my listing. Oh, speak of... It's these. Yeah, these. So I'm listing them just as Zebra Pharmaceutical, but I don't put Zithromax in it. Because it just stops. eBay just stops it. I 
I think I have other ones of these. This is Astralin Nasal Spray. It's just a big old nose. Old Navy. I do well with these little Old Navy plush. It still has its original tag, but it's a little vampire dog. All right. Prilosec. I'm just going to kind of, oh, I think I already had one of these. Oh, another Zyrtec. Lots of these type bears. This one's the American Cancer Society. I think I have more like that. Here's a March of Dimes. Just other advertising. A little squeeze thing. And a little, what's these balls called? They could kick them. Hacky sack. Yeah, like a hacky sack bag. Another little squeeze thingy. Pfizer. And then... These look like the same, yeah. Claritin. I'll make a lot out of them. Some little chicken. Here's a blood bank. Happy hemoglobin. A little football. What? Oh. Another thing. Look, Zithromax. I'll put this with that other plush. Not quite sure. This is still in its bag. Rhina 12. I forget who this is. What are they? Oh, Sugar Bear. Look. Never seen these before. He's not Sugar Bear anymore. He's like the Golden Bear because it's not... Super sugar crisps anymore. It's golden crisps or something oh. because they had to put Ooh. the ooh, ooh, can't do that in the uh, title because it's bad for your health. Maybe this will be worth something then since it's not called that anymore. Oh, those are good. I had to get some of those recently because sugar smacks. Sugar smacks. That's sugar what, smacks. That's what they were. The sugar, sugar bear. Smacks. Right, and they changed them to like golden smacks or something now, and they're still good. This is Flonays. I'll probably put it with that other one. Just a couple of more little ones. That's it. Oh, another blood bank thingy. Little figure. And then, I'm not quite sure what these are. Pencil toppers. Blockbuster. Oh, sometimes that looks good. I got a little, two little match things from Blockbuster. Elecon. I've got something else with that. Marathon gas. Oops. I've got a couple of these prefaced, like stomachs. And then this. Little Debbie. Look, I knew it looked familiar. I hope you guys can see her through that. She, oh, and she's Boyd's bear. My gut says she ain't going to be worth a whole lot, but she's adorable. It seems like you had one of those before, but so. it was a doll. It was a doll, a doll, not a bear. And it wasn't worth a whole lot. No, it wasn't. Very disappointing because to me, these are treasures. It was, old. It was treasures. a really old doll too, I think. I think I sold her though. All right. So another haul for our online estate sale. I think there's a lot here for me to get working on. Yay. I'm really trying to get through as much as I can. Like I said in a previous video, I'm shooting for 40 new listings a day. Today's actually my day off, but I'm working on them anyway because, you know, I, I want to learn to how to, I need to bank them. I've heard other people talking about that where you save them in drafts and don't release them until you don't have enough to list that day. But we'll see. All right. Bye.